Continuing on with our 3D menu, we now need to add some script that will actually trigger the color changes when we hover our mouse over it, as well as as soon as we click it that it will load the other scenes. Now understandably the main menu is the first scene in the game that will actually be displayed, so we need to make sure that the other scenes are accessible in scripts also. To do this we have to go to our build menu, go to file and then build settings and as you can see it gives us a little dialog that wants to know which scenes we want to include in our build. Now you can imagine that if you're a game designer or developer that you have a lot of scenes for testing purposes that you don't want to use and a couple of scenes that you do want to use. So to load them in here simply drag them in I'm going to put the main menu first and then the level second and this way you can see it becomes 0 and 1 and we'll use these numbers in scripting to refer to the right level. Now of course if you want to change the order you can drag them up and down but we want the level to be the second one and the main menu to be the first one. Now there's no need to build it yet because this will simply be remembered and now these scenes become accessible in script. That's exactly what we'll do next. Right click our script folder and create another JavaScript and let's call this one item or menu item. Now we will attach one menu item script to both of these so that we don't have to retype it for every single one of them. So let's open it up, get rid of the update function because in this case we don't want to do things every frame, we want to do things based on mouse behavior. So let's start with typing on mouse enter and this script will be triggered or this function will be triggered once the mouse enters over our text. Now this only works when we have a box collider or any other type of collider on our text. It will not work if it's not there and second it will also not work if there's geometry in place. So if for example your menu here is behind the wall it will still be visible in Unity but it won't be clickable. It will always be rendered because it's a 3D text so it basically decides it wants to be there but it won't be clickable so make sure the text is outside of the actual wall. Okay, I notice also that I have rotated them a little sloppy so let's change that a little bit to be more aligned with the wall. Same with our quit and there that works just fine. Alright, back into our script Let's change the color of our renderer because they have a mesh render attached to them. So type renderer dot material dot color equals color dot red. Now notice that I'm using a capital C for the second one because here we are referencing color as a class and here it's only part of a variable of this namespace. Alright, so there's that. Now let's copy and paste these and type on mouse exit to make sure we also reset our color back to white. Now let's test our game here. And it is not working yet because we have not attached our script to our objects. So let's do that right now drop them right on top of them. Let's play. And now as you can see we have a main menu with colors. Pretty nice, huh? I think it looks pretty good. Okay, now next what we need to do is basically trigger what happens when we click them. So let's add a variable and say is quit button and set that to false by default. Save it. And only for the quit one we will check it to be a quit button. For the other one we will not. Okay, let's go back into our menu item. Let's add another function that will register a click which would be on mouse up 
You could of course also use unmouse down, but mouse up is better for the feedback for the actual user. And then we will here write the script that we need to quit the level if quit was selected or to load the next level. So let's do an if statement. If is quit button. So if this one is set to true, we type application with a capital A dot quit with a capital Q. And this will quit our application or else if it's not a quit button, we will type application dot load level with two capital L's. And then the name of our level or the number, which is one. Let's see if this works hitting the quit button. Now of course it doesn't quit because right now it's in the player but as soon as we save our script or export our game it will and then the play game brings us to our first level. Really nice. This works fine. And that concludes building our 3D menu. So next let's move on and get some action going and make the turret actually shoot at us and turn this into a real first person shooter.